देशम कुमापति सुरगुरु वंदे जगत्कारण वंदे पर्णगभूषण शशिधर वंदे पशूना पति वंदे सूर्य शशाकनयन वंदे मुकुंद प्रिय वंदे भक्तजन आश्रय वरद वंदे भक्तजन आश्रय वरद वंदे शिव शंकर फ्रेंड्स कृष्णा एक्सॉक्स एस to perform all the activities as a yogi yogastha kuru karmani karmani all the activities kuru do yogastha be established in yoga the first quality the first condition first prerequisite first requirement is be a yogi <coughs> be established in yoga be firm in yoga be strongly absorbed in yoga and then you perform all the activities every individual wants to be bad peaceful wants to be happy and wants to be blissful peaceful is the first requirement happiness is the second need blissful is the permanence of that happiness in infinite proportions we want to be peaceful always shanti 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 who is to give that peace yoga yoga the practice of yoga gives us the peace when we are established in that peaceful state of mind when we are soaked in that peaceful state of mind then we can have the happiness and retain that happiness extend the happiness make it boundless and that is brahmananda so first requirement for all is the foundation for all is peacefulness without peace no activity is possible and that peaceful state of mind is called yoga and activities are innumerable actions are countless karmas are continuous there is no time when i am free from action i am speaking speech is an action you are sitting and listening it's an activity breathing is an activity heart beat is an activity blood circulation is an activity pulsation is an activity seeing is activity loving is activity all are activities therefore krishna says nahi kasuchit kshanam api nahi no kshanam api even for a for a fraction of a second you are not free from activity you are constantly engaged in action all these activities which are continuous all these actions which are persistent all these karmas which are continuous let me perform being absorbed in the peaceful state being established in yoga yoga sthah guru karmani now two things i must be peaceful and i must do the activity while doing the job in the office i must be peaceful while speaking to you i must be peaceful while taking food i must be peaceful 
while breathing in and breathing out, I must be peaceful. All the time, I must be peaceful. How? Activities are continuous, ceaseless, endless, persistent. And yoga is to be peaceful and peacefully performing the activities is karma yoga. Karma yoga is nothing but activities performed peacefully and then happily and then blissfully. And blissfully it is performed by the great stalwarts of spiritual experience, Leela, sport. Sri Krishna performs all the activities as a sport. Devas and Rishis perform the activities with the, the happiness for the world. And all of them are constantly established in peace. Lord Shiva on Mount Kailas is absorbed in peace. Sriman Narayana in the ocean of milk is absorbed in peace. And Chaturmukha Brahma does the work of creation absorbed in peace. Sristi, creation. Stiti, maintenance. Laya, the dissolution are performed with the persons, performed by the persons who are absorbed in peace. We do start, we continue, we stop. Every action has a commencement, it has a continuation, and it has a completion. I started my talk, commencement, I continue the talk, and I complete the talk. The three C's. I generate the talk. I ordain the talk. I dissolve the talk. All these three activities, if they are performed peacefully, then it is yoga. We start to eat. We continue to eat. And we complete eating. We are born. We live and we die. It's a longer activity. Every activity is to be. How is that possible? Every action has an attitude behind it. Every activity has a mindset behind it. For example, a woman. We go to the temple there you find goddess. Goddess is woman. She has the features of a woman. She has the head, eyes, nose, body of a lady. And when I look at that lady in the temple, a woman in the temple, I have the reverential attitude. I have the respectful attitude. I have the worshipful attitude. When I come out, I find my mother standing. She is also a woman. I have a motherly attitude. I have a filial attitude. I have the attitude of a son. There, I have the worshipful attitude. Here, I look at her not as goddess, but as my mother. And then, I come home. My wife is waiting. My, she is also a lady. I look at her with a different attitude. It is the attitude of a husband for the wife. And then my daughter comes. She is also a lady. And I have the attitude of a father towards the daughter. And then I find my sister, again a lady, again a woman. And that lady, when I look at, my attitude changes. The woman in the temple, the woman in my mother, the woman in my sister, 
the woman in my wife, the woman in my daughter, the woman outside, all are women. But the attitude changes. Everywhere the attitude makes a man is a karma yogi or not. This attitude has several levels, evolving attitudes. Number one, when I am so fast asleep, very sound sleep I have, I am inert. I don't have any attitude. I have no sensitivity. Somebody comes, I was asleep, you rascal, you would say. I don't know. I don't react. I don't respond. He looks at me again in the dead of the night. You idiot. You scoundrel. You insulted me during the day. I don't know. Kumbhakarna does not know. This mic, you are a rascal. You are an idiot. You are a scoundrel. It does not respond. Thick skin. Insensitive. Inert. Inertia. There are people who are like stones. Intelligence is present, but it is silent. When I am sleeping, my brain is not at work. My intelligence is not functioning. I do not respond. I do not react. There is no corresponding activity and there is no attitude behind. I just sleep. Sleeping is the only activity. A little elevated. He comes with a pin. He pricks my foot with the pin. I am asleep. My body reacts. I pull the leg back in self-protection. That's called impulsive attitude. Impulsive action. When you go to certain plants, the leaves shrink. And it is an impulsive activity. Jagadish Chandra Bose says that the plants have the brain. They have the feelings. They are afraid and when a man goes with the axe to cut the tree, it beats, it feels, it feels sorrow and it shrinks, but it cannot run away. It's an impulsive activity. Next we come to the instinctive attitude. When I am wakeful, when the animal's instinct is very much, when I look at the food, there is a reaction in my tongue, there is a saliva. When a beautiful girl is going on the road, I look at her hungrily. Instinct. When a female dog is going, a male dog goes behind it. Instinctively. What is the attitude? The attitude is that of an animal. What is that impulse? It is the impulse of a wounded plant. And before that, it is a stone-like. From that, we come to the intellectual level. And at the intellectual level, you know what is right, what is wrong. What is good, what is bad. Discrimination. Inert, inertia, impulses, instincts and now the same hidden intelligence works as discrimination. I see the girl going, instinctively I respond, then I realize that it is my friend's daughter. I hit my teachings. I should not look at it with a bad intention. I correct myself with intellect. Then begins the exercise of karma yoga. When we are intellectuals, who is an intellectual? Who uses the brain? How does he use the brain? 
vichakshana jnana what is that vichakshana jnana what is right what is wrong what is moral what is not moral what is favorable what is not favorable what is successful what is sorrowful when you are able to distinguish clearly then our brains are active our discriminating capacity is functioning and then it goes further enlightened intellect i see in everyone some common feature atma spiritually you say rama devotees say i find shiva in him i find lakshmi in her everywhere i am able to have that enlightened outlook when i develop that enlightened attitude sarvam vishnumayam sarvam ramamayam sarvam shankaramayam sarvam brahmamayam sarvam atmamayam and that gives you the highest happiness i am peaceful that peacefulness persists therefore krishna says even if we are not able to go to that highest performance of activity looking at everybody as divine try to be performing the activities with the attitude of service yajnarthat karmano nyatra activities are unavoidable your attitude is also persistent your attitude try to modify 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 improve change get it enlightened if i do this in what way it is useful to others let me perform the actions usefully for the welfare of others when i develop that attitude of service of my activities that is the enlightened yoga a huge temple is being built many stone cutters are involved one stone cutter is sitting and cutting the stones so that he can make the stone for the foundation purposes of the temple a b is also a stone cutter c is also a stone cutter from the tv company and from the journalists some people came to interview the workers the interviewer went to a my dear mr a what are you doing are you happy with the work please give your response and a said when my father and mother asked me to go to the college i did not bother when they asked me to work hard i did not care i looked at the girls i failed the examinations that girl married and she went away to some other america i am now stranded i became 20 22 years my father and mother got angry with me they wanted to see that i am bound to a place therefore they selected a bride and got me married to her like a not very individual i started begetting i have two children i have my wife i don't have the job i don't have the qualification i have committed the great crime of not listening to my parents then now i have no job i am doing this stone cutting work cursingly grudgingly reluctantly scolding he was doing the work